Natalie Sidesurf here, Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm gonna show you how I made a realistic strawberry cake. Let's start by cutting off the stem of a real strawberry so that we can make our edible stem. I'm unfolding the leaves, trying to flatten them out as much as I can. Here I have a small square of edible wafer paper, and I'm painting water with a little bit of gel food color right onto it. I want it to be nice and saturated. I'm using wafer paper to make the leaves because out of all the edible materials that I could use, I really think that it reads the best as leaves. It's nice and thin, it's delicate. It's just like the real deal. The color is darker green towards the outside and a lighter yellowish green towards the center. Then I pick the paper up and I place it onto my real strawberry leaves. I'm using the real leaves as a mold to make my edible leaves. So I'm working the wafer paper into all those creases with a soft paintbrush. Now I just let that stem dry overnight and in the meantime, I'm going to start working on the strawberry. This strawberry is going to be made of leftover cake scraps that I have from a previous cake. So I just crumble up the cake, I add a dollop of buttercream, and then I knead it all together, and I'll make cake berries. But Natalie, cakes aren't berries. Well, neither are strawberries. So in spite of literally having the word berry in the name, strawberries are actually an aggregate fruit. You know, people always say they have trust issues after seeing my realistic cakes. Well, now that I know that strawberries aren't actually berries, I have trust issues. <laughs> so just like tomatoes, We've all been scammed once again by big fruit. To create the strawberry seed texture, I'm using molding putty. I just don't think I have the time to sculpt all those seeds. <laughs> the cake would be stale by the time I finished. Look at all the little strawberry hairs that I pulled out <laughs> with that mold. It's like I waxed the strawberry. So silky smooth. <laughs> All right, so now I press that mold right onto my cake strawberry and it creates that really detailed texture. I see that some of those strawberry hairs are on my cake, <laughs> but I think that's all right. I mean, they're definitely edible, so no worries there. Time to paint. So I'm using a regular old red food color to paint this strawberry. And it's actually the food color right out of the bottle, and it matched really well. Usually I have to adjust the color. I need to make it a little darker, a little lighter, but this is perfect. I wipe away some of the red around the top of the strawberry, and it exposes that ivory food color, which looks just like the real strawberries. And then I go in and I paint some tiny seeds, some green, and some ivory. Back to the stem. So the wafer paper is completely dry now, so I can just peel it away from the real leaves and stem. To make the individual leaves, I just cut them out with my tiny little stork scissors. I love these scissors. Normal sized scissors are so bulky. I'm placing the leaves onto a small ball of modeling chocolate to secure them. And I'm also using that chocolate to create the inner stem. Then I paint everything to make it really hard to see that transition from the center that's made of chocolate to the leaves that are made of wafer paper. And there you have it, a strawberry cake ball. It's a cake ball. <laughs> now let's cut it. Subscribe to this channel right now. I post a new realistic cake every week. And if you like my videos, let me know by liking them, starting with this one. <laughs>